my mind is blown out. I, I I don't understand. What just happened? Y'all, I don't even know how I feel right now. We've come so far on this pretty little life's journey and it is over. It is over. Wait, is CC Charles? Wait. He puts on her melt and smothers her and smuggles her and she falls back into him and he takes her away. Ugh, I can't do this. I can't do this. Why would they put these couples together and make us love these couples just to rip them apart? When you rip apart the couples, you rip apart my heart, pretty little liars. I'm too old for this. I just want to say, I told y'all so. So y'all can stop leaving comments talking about, this is not a man thing. Hannah said it was okay. Hannah lied. <gasps> yes, Emily! Punch that girl in her face. She better punch her in the face. Somebody is in the house about to get you, Allie. You better run. I'm like, Emily, Emily always wants to be Captain save a ho I don't know, it's just kind of a feeling I got. I accidentally just kicked the camera because I got too excited. Sorry, camera. So, I don't even know. I don't think I'm going to do like a full-on recap because this episode was so crazy. But I'm just, just going to hit on some points that happened. First, let's start off with this crazy hoe, Addison. Excuse my language. She's pretty much Allison. And she's being all mean. She calling Allie a lesbo and being mean in class. I'm like, whose child is this? Whose child is this? And then we finally get to meet the twins. They're so cute. It's adorable. And then Emily and Allie are just being some cute parents. And if y'all have been watching these videos and you know how I feel about Allie and you know that I don't really care for her that much, but this finale episode made me have a little bit more love for her. You know, because I felt like she ruined everything. Which I still feel like she ruined everything. And Spencer got the short end of the stick. But it's cool. But I mean, it's not cool. But we'll let that slide because it's the finale. Then we see Arya freaking out about the wedding. She starts crying. She gets this phone call. She's like, I can't marry Ezra. I'm like, what is happening? This is the love. You broke the law for him. Y'all both broke the law for each other. You done went through a whole missing fiance fiasco. And you're just going to not marry him? I was like, what is this phone call? What could possibly be this terrible that you can't marry the love of your life? Who you've gone through hell and high water for? But it turns out that Arya could not have a kid. That was so sad. She was crying and she finally told him. Of course he understood because they love each other and love is powerful and love is strong. So even though she couldn't have kids, he was still like, but you're the love of my life. And that was just really beautiful. That was a beautiful moment. And can we talk about how Mona was working with AD again? I was so, I was so upset when I saw her in that black hoodie. I was like, Mona, Mona. We, we have been riding or dying with you. We have put so much hope and faith into you, thinking that you were going to get better. You done relapsed and had to go back to Radley last episode. And you finally get out and Hannah brings you into her home for a place to stay. And you decide that you want to still work with AD. That blew my mind, y'all. I didn't even understand why she was doing that until the end, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, and then, of course, some other little things happened throughout the episode. Okay, I guess not little things. But Allie proposed to, to I almost said to Spencer. Whoa. Allie proposed to Emily with her grandma's ring, with Emily's grandma's ring, which means she got approval from her mom. It was just so beautiful with her little pug sweatshirt on. That was too cute. Then the whole Spoby thing, you know, Spencer and Toby getting back together. It's getting a little hot and heavy or whatever. It's getting, I loved it. I loved it. Y'all know how I felt about uh, Spencer and Caleb. So I'm so glad that that was done and that's over. And Spencer is back with Toby, who that's who she belongs with. That is her soulmate. And Caleb and Hannah are married because that's who they belong to. They're soulmates. And they, oh, they're having a baby. They're going to have a little baby. A little Caleb. A little Caleb's running around. Too bad we're not going to see him because that's the end of the series. But here 
is where we get to the good part. With all the secrets and everything is revealed. Y'all, Spencer has an evil to win? This, I thought that was a far reach for a bit, but I guess it makes sense because like in the books, apparently, I didn't, I didn't read the books, but apparently in the books, there was like a twin situation and it was supposed to be Allie was supposed to have the twin but then it turned into her transgender sister and it was just like everything got switched around for the show so that nobody would really know what went down but yeah it turns out that Mary Drake aka Spencer's real mom had twins and she put the twin whose name was Alex aka Alex Drake aka AD she put Alex up for adoption then the second twin aka Spencer she kept with the Hastings so they had no idea about each other, but Ren, being all British and stuff, went to Britain. And then he was at a bar, and then Spencer's twin, Alex, was at the bar, and he thought it was Spencer. And then they, they just started hanging out, and he told her about Spencer. Then that's when things got all crazy. And then Alex was hanging out with uh, Cece, because she didn't know how crazy Cece was. She thought Cece was just like a sister. She was like, this is my sister. And then Cece put her on the whole dollhouse, the whole game thing, and Alex started getting obsessed with the game. So Alex started pretending to be Spencer, and it's kind of like the same thing that was happening with Mary Drake, because Mary Drake was pretending to be uh, Allie's mom for a little bit. So it was kind of the same thing, because they were twins, and they were trying to pretend to be twins, or they, Mary was trying to pretend to be her twin so she could have her life, and so Alex was trying to pretend to be Spencer, and... It turns out that Alex was orchestrating the whole thing. She was pissed off that CC died when she came back to play with the girls. But I don't. That's the thing that I don't understand. It's like what is going on in these people's minds? Because CC died because she was bullying. She tried to fight Mona, and Mona self defense, and CC died. They were trying to help. They were trying to bring her like back. They were like trying to be okay with her being there. But then. Alex punished the girls. The girls did not kill Cece. That's why I don't get it. I'm like, the girls didn't kill Cece Drake. Why are you trying to get them? And y'all, Alex went as far as to tell him Ren to shoot her. She had Ren shoot her in the shoulder so she would have the same scar as Spencer. If that is not dedication, then I don't know what is. But that's not the kind of dedication you want because you're not trying to get shot in the shoulder to have the same scar as somebody because you're trying to steal their life. Who does that? Alex Drake does. But y'all, then the plot thickens because apparently Alex was supposed to be in love with Ren and she was talking about how they were like in love and all this stuff but she couldn't bear let him go. And Spencer was like, wait, oh yeah, by the way, Spencer got kidnapped by Alex if you didn't watch the episode. Yeah, and Alex also kidnapped Ezra. Ezra, I was like Ezria because Arya Ezria is the ship name, yeah kidnap both of them so they're in this little dungeon cell or whatever and then Alex is opening up to Spencer and she's talking about how she loved Ren and blah 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 and um Spencer was like oh wait so like you had to break up with him she was like no I couldn't bear let him go wait she was in a British accent no no I couldn't bear let him go is that a good British accent I don't know, I'm gonna keep doing it. I couldn't bear let him go. I turned his ashes into this diamond. <laughs> Can't do a British accent. Well, anyway, she turned the ashes into his, into a diamond and she wears it around her neck all the time. And another plot twist is that Ren is the baby daddy to Emily and Allie's children. You know, it was Emily and Ren have babies. How'd they come out blonde? But Emily and Ren had the babies and then they were artificially inseminated into uh, Allie. I'm just glad it wasn't that imposter uh, guy from Britain who tried to kill them all that they ended up running over and then Mary Drake took the fall for. Yeah, I can't believe, I, I'm just glad it wasn't him. Archer, Archer Dunhill. I would've been so mad, that man. And guys, I never expected Jenna Marshall to be the one to save the day. What? What the heck? This last seven years, however long it's been, Jenna has always been on the bad side. And it turns out Jenna just wanted money for her eye surgery, which didn't work. And that's the only reason she was working with AD. So after all that was done, she just was doing her own thing, you know, being her. But then she smells. Alex because Alex is pretending to be Spencer talking to her but first off I knew she probably thought it was weird that Spencer was being so nice but then 
she smelt her and was like, are you wearing a different perfume? Because you know, when you lose like one sense, your other senses get stronger. So since Jenna's blind, her sense of like her hearing, her, her smell, everything is just intensified. So she could smell that this person does not smell like Spencer, although they sound like her. And then, and she knows about Alex Drake. So she knows there's a twin. So she calls Toby. She tells Toby, Toby, I don't think that's Spencer. I, that's not Spence. So I guess she tells him everything and he ends up going and meeting up with the rest of the crew who were just about to text the fake Spencer, which I'm so glad they didn't. They like powwowed and figured it out and then they end up finding where um, Spencer and Ezra were thanks to Mona. Because it turns out Mona wasn't really working for AD. She was trying to beat her at the game because you know Mona gets obsessed with these games. So she was like really, really, really obsessed with this game. And... She ended up finding out the coordinates to where they were and they all went to the place just in time because Spencer and Ezra had escaped from their little cells and they were trying to get out of this place. They were in like an outdoor, indoor, underground chamber and uh, what's her face? Alex found them. So she was trying to fight Spencer. They're all punching and stuff. And then finally all the people came and Toby had his gun because you know he's a cop. He had his gun and he was like, put your hands up, drop it, blah, blah. And he just looked at them. He took him a little bit, but he knew. He knew. He knew because he went straight to Alex and put her in a in a thing. Where you, what's that called? In an arrest hold. He, he had her in an arrest staying hands behind her back. And he goes, what's my favorite poem from that book you gave me? Or what's your favorite poem from that book you gave me? And she goes, and then the real Spencer, who wasn't in a in a best hole, was like, "We use for she said something in some other language. I think it was French, like we voulez vous boucher avec moi." I don't know. She said something, and he was like, oh, and then she had a tear in her eye, and then the real cops came, and Mona goes, "I called 911." I said, "Yes, Mona, you better call them cops, cause they, cause they're not black, so you don't have to worry about anybody getting shot." I'm sorry, was that too deep? Anyway, they arrested her, they found Mary Drake, and then they went to jail or whatever, and then all of our people lived happily ever after. Hannah got pregnant. And, 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 what's her name? I almost said Ariana, that's my name. Aria got married. Uh, Spencer and Emily living happy. Not Spencer, why do I keep saying Spencer? Spencer and Toby doing their thing. Emily and Allie living happily ever after. And Mona moved to Paris. She found her a little fine little uh, French man. And she's now the new, I guess, A. But let's call her M. She's M. So she is doing the exact same thing that Mary Drake and Alex Drake did to all to the girls. She, she's making them a dollhouse. They're, they have their own dollhouse there in Paris. And they're trapped. They are trapped. I'm like, Mona, you go. You go. You teach them. Give them a taste of their own medicine. It's kind of crazy though. I was like, I would just want to be done, but you know, she's addicted to the game. And lastly, Addison disappears. And I'm like, is this about to happen again? Are they making a spinoff? Why'd they do this to us? But anyway, that is what happened on the final series finale of For the Liars. I'm very sad. I love the show so much. So now I have to find a new addiction. I feel empty. I feel empty. Let me know in the comments down below which part of this episode was your favorite or which part of the whole entire series was your fave because now the series is over. So like, let's let's talk, let's chit chat, let's, let's reminisce. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. Anyway, subscribe. I'll find some other show to recap. Also subscribe to my vlog channel because I'm starting to vlog now. And give this video a thumbs up because I'm sad. Alright guys. Okay, I'm sorry. That's my muscle, my face muscles hurt. Alright. <laughs> also, if you want to watch any other of my recaps, then click the link down below. I have them all in a playlist, so go ahead and watch that. I haven't done any recaps for this season, so it's going to be older ones. But I think they're pretty funny. If you, I don't know, just go watch. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!